Uh, this is Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Turtles, and you need to watch Game Infinity Watch <laughs> right now! Hey everybody, hi, I'm waving hi. Uh, Game Infinity Watch is back. It is the uh, start of June. It was June 5th right now, so I hope everybody, June, what the fuck? I mean July, I don't know what's going on. It's July 5th, so I hope everybody had a safe uh, 4th of July. I hope everybody still has all of your digits on all your fingers and that you didn't burn down a tree or your house or any kind of tragic events like that. So if you're here, thank you, and I'm glad that everything's okay and you had a good fourth. Uh, if you don't celebrate the fourth, if you're one of the awesome viewers from around the world, well, just I hope you're enjoying your, uh, your uh, summer or winter, depending on what hemisphere you're on. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on on this video. So, with it being the beginning of Ju July, I gotta get my dates right here sooner or later. It's always the fun of what did I get for the previous month. So this is gonna be my June haul of, and I'll tell you this, kind of the categories we're gonna talk about on this video. We got Omnibus, we've got toys, we've got vinyls, and uh, a magazine. So there's some really cool stuff here. Most of this I picked up while at the amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. That was at the end of June. June was a super dry month for me in terms of buying omnibus and comics and, and stuff like that. Just nothing was coming out that I wanted or cared about or felt that I needed right away. At the, but at the end of June, that last week of June, like four or five books dropped. And I, uh, I'm slowly picking those up. I don't have them yet, they're in the mail, so I can't put them in this video. But next month's video, for in August for July, you'll see some cool stuff I got. Uh, July is already turning out to be a pretty big month already, and it's only the 5th. I got a lot of cool stuff coming already from uh, eBay and uh, in-stock trades and cool stuff like that. So, enough of me babbling, let's get to the fun stuff. Alright, so starting off, let's talk about toys that I picked up in June. I don't do a lot of toys. i um, not a big toy collector or anything like that, but these toys are absolutely some of my favorite uh, characters, so I had to pick them up. Uh, first off, Marvel Legends uh, Shatterstar. Absolutely, I love Shatterstar. Um, you can kind of maybe see back here, I have a poster of the X-Force. That's actually a really cool calendar poster from 1992. I need to hang it up. Um, but it's, it's 90s X-Force, so you know Shatterstar's on that poster. So uh, this is a really cool figure. I love that he comes with the, 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 two, the two swords. Um, I think one of them was a dual blade sword, so that's really cool. They really kind of did their, their work and research on this figure. And that's really it, but he's got the cool, you know, Liefeld uh, shoulder pad. He's got like that Padawan little braid going on. Uh, just a super cool figure. This is a really cool toy. And then, I had to pick this up. I had to. Uh, shout out to my friend uh, Warren out there. Uh, I don't know if you subscribe to this channel or not, dude, but uh, shout out to you. You got me three uh, Invisible Woman uh, Walgreens exclusive. This is a figure that is only available at Walgreens. And when they first came out, they were a little hard to find. And Warren found three of them for me. So I got one for myself. I'm not scalping them, so don't don't get all Gabe Infinity Watch is a fucking dirty scalper and he stinks and nobody likes him because he scalps. No. Uh, I got one for myself, one for Jess, Bragg the Omni Dog, and one for Geo from uh, This Week in Geekdom. So I did the good thing and I spread out the wealth of the figures that I was able to get from my friend. So don't get mad at me that I'm scalping because I sold them to them for retail price and shipping. So, but either way, so I love the Fantastic Four. If you've been watching my channel, you probably know that Fantastic Four is my favorite comic book. And 
controversially, however you want to believe it, Marvel's not putting out Fantastic Four anything, and it hasn't been that way in a couple of years outside of uh, Secret Wars, which is basically a Fantastic Four story, basically the last Fantastic Four story. Controversy, if you believe it, has to do with movie rights and kind of a pissing contest between Marvel and Fox Movie Studios, but whatever. I don't care because they're now putting out Fantastic Four figures. Even though they're exclusives to Walgreens, I got, bam, Invisible Woman, and it comes with Herbie, and uh, an Invisible Hand. Not special, but Herbie's super cool to have. Uh, coming up next for Walgreens exclusives is, shit, Human Torch. That's definitely in the works and it's happening, and he's gonna be released pretty soon, so hopefully I'll get him. And rumor has it, again, uh, a thing and a Mr. Fantastic, also all being exclusive. Exclusive. So, I'm pumped to see that Fantastic Four is getting some love. Even though there's no comic book, I'll set up with some toys right now. And next up, let's talk about records. I also like to buy vinyl records. And when this one came out, I absolutely had to pick it up. This is the Fifth Element soundtrack. It was put out by Mondo. And the art on this is beautiful. It is super inspired by Mobius, who was a designer on the Fifth Element movie. Like, look at that cityscape and all the windows that are drawn. And everything is beautiful. Like, I love the perspective. Whoever, I can't think of the artist who drew this, I'm sorry. But he got some great perspective going on here with the flying police cars and everything as well. Like the smoke here is beautiful. Same in the back, it's just a desert. But that's what's cool about like Mobius art or Mobius inspired art is all it takes is a simple line and it's just a beautiful horizon with smoke and everything else. Super cool. But the cool part about this is of course the actual record itself. This is a dual record that I hope I can pull out of here. But this thing is one of the most beautiful looking uh, actual vinyl record. I love the orange and white. It goes perfect with the costume of uh, Mila Jolovich in the movie. So I think they did a great job. It's all it's very uh, synced up synergy, I guess you can call it, between the artwork, the theme in the movie, and the artwork on the actual record itself. So there's two of these in this box, or in this uh, record set, so, but that's really cool. Uh, next up, something I got from, uh, Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. And that is some Omnibus. I kind of went a little nuts with the Omnibus at Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con, thanks to Jimmy J and his booth. Jimmy J's booth, if you ever go to any of the amazing shows or if you're in uh, the LA area, they have something called the Frankenstein Show. He's there and he sells Omnibus for dirt fucking cheap. Take for instance, Amazing Spider-Man on the bus volume one. This retails one one hundred dollars. Uh, his booth was selling it for forty bucks. So you could do easy math. That's sixty percent off on this bad boy. Uh, this collects uh, Ultimate Spider-Man one through thirty-nine and the one half issue. So 40 comics, so I basically paid a dollar a comic. Ultimate Spider-Man is a hugely important comic to myself and to the comic book industry because this is what started off my favorite universe, uh, the Ultimate Universe. Uh, back in the late 90s, uh, Marvel, in the effort of not resetting the 616 mainline Marvel Universe, they created a separate universe called the Ultimate Universe. Brian Michael Bendis was the first guy to get his hands on a book for that universe, and he did Spider-Man, 
it was a a hail a hail mary kind of move, and it worked out perfectly for them because this is one of the greatest comics to have ever been put out. Like Bendis might not be be one people might not consider Bendis a great writer now. Debatable. What's not debatable is Bendis in the late '90s, early 2000s. He ruled comic books for a good decade, if not more. Undisputed that he was the greatest writer of that time frame. So, Ultimate Spider-Man was his big breakout book. So I love this book. Love all the. I love how they put the the covers of each comic that's in here on the back. But the perfect book. Love it, love it, love it. Next up, Age of Apocalypse, the Companion uh, Omnibus. I have the regular Omnibus. I'm sure you guys seen it in my uh, collection tour video. But this is the Companion piece. It's kind of the ancillary satellite stories that kind of go around the main Age of Apocalypse storyline. Uh, again, got an amazing Las Vegas Comic Con from Jimmy J's booth. 25 bucks. Can't beat that price. It's a hundred dollar book. 25 bucks. Thank you, Jimmy J. <laughs> uh, so yeah, big shout out to him. This collects a lot of shit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to read all this. It collects uh, X-Men Chronicles number one through two. Tales from the Age of Apocalypse one through two. X-Men minus one. I think that's his minus one. And number 53 through 54. That's kind of jumping far out into the storyline. Uh, Blink 1 through 4. X Universe 1 through 2. Exile 60 through 61. X Men Age of Apocalypse 1 through 6 and One Shot. What If? Number 77 and number 81. And What If X Men Age of Apocalypse? Plus. Bonus material from Hulk, Broken Worlds, number two, X-Men Prime, X-Man, Annual 96, X-Men Endangered Species, Exiles Days of Then and Now, an official handbook of the Marvel Universe, Age of Apocalypse 2005. Whew, that's a lot of, a lot of book. Lots and lots of book there for 25 bucks, and it's a part of one of my favorite all-time storylines, Age of Apocalypse. Can't beat that. Another big book, well, it's an omnibus, but it's also a big book. Some people consider it a whale, whale, whatever you want to call it. Um, my sister's over there, whatever. So, uh, again, this basically my haul video from uh, Amazing Comic Book, or Amazing Las Vegas. But hey, check it out. Deadpool and Cable Omnibus. This is a big book right now. It's uh, out of print, getting harder and harder and harder to find. Um, $125 uh, tag price on this. I got it for, I want to say 75 bucks, so about half off. Can't, can't go wrong with that, because this is a big book that is, especially now with the Deadpool 2 movie coming out, that's going to be Cable, so it's going to be Cable in the Deadpool movie. Uh, this is getting bigger and bigger getting more sought after, it's getting a lot of trades and a lot of sales on the Omnibus Facebook group. So this is this is a this is a commodity right here. This is almost like its own currency. So it's a big trade book. So this collects cable and Deadpool numbers one through fifty. Uh, Deadpool Great Lakes International G GLI Great Lakes, not Great Lakes Avengers. Is it Great Lakes Avengers? Whatever. It says Deadpool slash GLI Summer Fun, Spectacular, and material from Deadpool number 27. So this is all written by Fabian Nicieza with Dan Slott, uh, Riley Brown, illustrations from Mark Brooks. And a handful of other artists on here. So this is a big book. This is basically the whole run of Deadpool and Cable. So great book. Really getting popular right now. Um, I used to have the issues, and when I sold off my collection, I didn't have those issues anymore. But I was able to find 
a great deal for the omnibus here. Last omnibus, but definitely not least, another great deal. Uh, the Invincible, Invincible Iron Man. I had to read that for a second. Invincible Iron Man omnibus. This is the uh, Kurt Busiek and uh, Sean Chen storyline. This takes place right after um, the, the Avengers and all the Marvel characters come back from the Heroes Reborn universe. So this is right for Heroes Return. So I have the whole Heroes Return, Heroes Reborn storylines over here behind me. But now this is kind of the spin-off aftermath of, of that. They're coming out later this this summer, or maybe the beginning of fall, a Heroes Reborn, or Heroes Return Thor on the bus. But here's the Iron Man one that's already been out for a while. Super good deal on this as well. I'm going to say it was like 40 bucks again. Um, but this collects Iron Man 1 through 25. Captain America number 8, Quicksilver number 10, Avengers number 7, Iron Man and Captain America annual 1998, Fantastic Four number 15. I hope they do a Fantastic Four on the buzz like this from uh, Heroes Return. I doubt it because we talked earlier about Marvel's not loving Fantastic Four anymore. Iron Man annual 1999, Thor number 17. Peter Parker, Spider-Man number 11, Juggernaut, the 8th day, and Iron Man, the Iron Age 1 through 2. I've not heard of that series. Juggernaut and Iron Man? That's weird. I never heard of that series. Cool. Either way, um, another great omnibus. It's kind of a heavy Marvel omnibus for this month. Again, it was a dry month. Nothing came out from uh, DC or even Marvel for the month of June that I was interested in, so all this I just kind of just buy back stock and stuff. I needed to kind of fill my shelves up with a little bit that I was missing. All right, so that's it for Omnibus. We went over toys, we went over uh, the vinyl. Um, also, the magazine, Wizard number one. Why is this in a bag of board? Um, again, Cool pickup I got for the month of June. I got Wizard number one. You guys probably know I'm a big Wizard fan. I love Wizard magazine. Um, everything that magazine stood for, how it helped kind of determine and set the course of comic books in the 90s and like the late 2000s. I'm sure a lot of people might have their own like issues, not like issues, like issues, issues, but their own problems and concerns and and things like that with Wizard, but I absolutely love Wizard. Uh, this is the first issue of Wizard. I got a handful, you can see over here, a handful of Wizards, and it's cool to have the first one. So, it's a cool Todd McFarlane Spider-Man cover. You got the price guide in here, of course. Spider-Man poster, it's cool. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy reading this. There's a lot of cool looking articles in here. Uh, talking about the Haunt and Fear, old EC horror magazines. Uh, it's kind of fun to see old ads. Here's an ad for the Rocketeer movie. And of course, since the cover is done by Todd McFarland, there's a uh, Todd McFarland article in here. So that's cool. So that's it for that kind of stuff there. Uh, one last thing, I left it on my shelf. I kind of, I kind of have shame, and I feel almost dirty and unclean. But I bought my first pop. I got the brain pop. Uh, again, shout out to Jill and Jess. They are the ones that's been pushing pops for the longest time. I'm not a fan of just every pop in the world and all the comic book pops. I just think they look weird. Um, they remind me a lot of Mighty Mugs. I, I used to have a lot of Mighty Mugs. Um, but I like the regular looking uh, pops where the heads aren't so big. It's a big head, but it's because it's the brain and it kind of makes sense. I like the characters that, where this looks a lot more like the actual character than it being like a giant head version. Black beady eyes and stuff like that. So this is just a really cool kind of version of the brain. But now I gotta go get Pinky. 
So that's going to make me probably end up getting all the Animaniacs, like Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, which is going to lead me into also getting uh, Nicktoons because of the shirt. I know there's a Reptar one out there and a lot of cool Rugrats ones and Aura Monsters. That cat dog one is super cool. I want to get that one really bad. But either way, I'll be getting uh, occasionally, I hope, occasionally uh, more pops. So I hope it's not one day I come in here like 30 pops and I'm just drowning in pops in my room. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So that's that. That's basically the end of my video for what I got for June. Um, again, I just want to give a shout out to everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If it's your first time here, hit that, hit that subscribe button, share the video, tell your buddies what's going on with this video. Uh, last time I was almost at 500, and now like it's craziness. Like it's I'm a spinning distance away from 600. So I appreciate you guys like either word of mouth or sharing the videos or telling your friends about it. However, this is getting out there. That's more than me just kind of posting around certain Facebook groups and on my Facebook channel and stuff like that, on my Facebook page. Uh, whatever you guys are doing, please keep it up. And I totally love you guys for it, and I appreciate it. So with all of that said and done, uh, I'm bring brain back out, and we'll say goodbye. And thanks for showing up, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. See you.